Hello everybody, this is Stonewall, and uh, if my voice sounds a little bit funny, it's because I've been a little bit sick. I had a bit of a sore throat trying to get rid of that. Um, but today we're looking at the uh, MX-9 for a little bit. Now, don't worry, this shouldn't be quite as long of a video as my other camo challenges, because I'm not actually going for gold in this video. So, what I wanted to do is go a little bit over the variants or the different versions of guns in the game and uh, how they work. So it took me a, quite a while to find the uh, MX-9 Patriot to start with and it's one of the reward guns for whichever version of the game that I got. Um, nothing too extreme, just the game and the uh, season pass. So what you have to do is go to your guns and you'll see a little bitty gray arrow just above any gun that has a variant. So in this case it's the MX-9 Patriot. Uh, the GKS does have one but of course haven't unlocked it yet, haven't gotten to that point. The ICR, this is basically the last gun in the uh, the tier system. There's none for the tactical rifles. There is one for the Titan which I have, the Titan Sandstorm. I uh, haven't done the challenge on that yet, but I'll get into that in the, just a second. So, for the MX-9 Patriot, you just hit, you just use your thumbstick and go up to select it, and you get this weapon. It's just a little bit cosmetically different than the regular uh, MX-9, and it has two extra challenges. So, in this case, the reactive camo requires 10 either Revenge, Kingslayer, Buzzkill, or Avenger medals. And after that, it unlocks the Mastercraft challenge, which it doesn't even show what that looks like. I'm sure a lot of people out there have already unlocked it, but today we're going to be unlocking the Reactive Camo. Now, the reason I haven't done this earlier is because I had to grind out all 100 headshots for the MX-9. That is also why I haven't... Uh, Done the Titan version of this. I'm getting kind of close, over halfway uh, with the Titan, and then I'll be able to do the Reactive and the Black Knight Mastercraft there. So that'll be another video at some point. But today, since I just recently finished up the headshots, I'm going to try to get some of my no attachment kills in uh, and see how long it takes to get this Reactive camo. So I'm kind of doubling up on a couple of things here. That is the reactive camos and the variants and the endurance chaos, chaos mosh pit. And this has been a really fun mode. You can rack up a lot of kills, a lot of score, and it helps you grind out the tiers a lot faster because you spend more time in game for the same amount of time in menus. Um, and I don't know that many people have really addressed this specifically or that much, but compared to a regular uh, match of the same mode, you spend about twice the amount of time in game for the amount of time you spend in menus. So it starts kind of competing with Blackout in uh, the efficiency for grinding out tiers. And since we've got double tiers, double XP, all of that coming, uh, actually starting tomorrow, <clears throat> then it should make this even more effective if this playlist stays. I know, uh, since I'm on Xbox, this menu might look a little funny, but, um, I know we're getting Nuketown and probably Nuketown 24-7 playlist, so I'm not sure if, you know, gun game's going away and this has taken its place in this menu, or if this is going away, I'm not sure. So we we'll just have to wait and see. So let me jump into a match and see if I can earn this reactive camo. Alright, so if you've ever done one of these challenges, or if you've already done one of these challenges, or watched somebody else do it, you might have realized that I made a bit of a mistake. So in order to earn this camo, I believe, you have to equip this for the challenge to be active. Um, so I had already jumped into a match and realized about halfway into it that I did not activate this. So don't make the same mistake I did. Um, make sure you activate that. It'll look kind of weird 
for a little bit, but we'll see what happens now. All right, we finally got in one at the very beginning. Now I'm not sure what kind of team setups we got in Secure terms of objective. who's in parties. Uh, Taking C. I don't know. C lockdown. Not seeing anything that should cause Enemy any concern. One down there. This is not a good position for me. I need some team support. Oh, we got enemies behind us. to play a little bit more aggressively to get these kills of course that may mean I don't do as good uh, in terms of KD and all of that stuff Wow Nice. How? Same gun. What? No. Luckily we have quite a bit of time to be able to even up the scores here. here. And behind me. <laughs> nice teammates got an attack chopper up in the air. Losing C. Okay, they're taking C, but we didn't flip spawns. Securing Charlie. Losing Bravo. Firing sensor dart. Charlie locked down. See what happens in the field. Hostile UAV circle. Enemy has B. Yep, he was watching for it. Thank you, teammate. <laughs> what? Okay. Wow. Thanks. Got the UAV out. Yeah, somebody must have there, okay? Okay. 
can never outgun that guy for some reason. Battery UAV. Nope. Just sitting in the corner. And that's when I get him? Wow. I'll take it. It's another revenge medal. There's only ten of those for camo challenges anyways. Even though it's an assault rifle. Alright, let's see what we can do with this. I tend to leave it for too long before I actually use it. Oh, come on. Yeah, that should... I don't know. He was directly in front of my shield. Should the shield be able to counter that slam? And I apparently hit no shots somehow. Time. All right, 21 and 20 at the half. Barely positive. The mission's not over. Go again. That man is toast. You know what? I think that guy just unlocked the uh, reactive camo. He's doing the same exact thing I am. That's hilarious. Well, kind of. He's got attachments on his. Take an alpha. I'm sure rapid fire and high caliber would make this a lot easier to do. Enemy took C. But I was trying to kind of double up on my uh, no attachment kills as well. Oh, nobody there. Oh, that was pretty. Take it, Charlie. Not headshots anymore. Oh, I don't know how close I am on this challenge. Not good. Hopefully. There it is. And a die. <laughs> Just got the reactive camo. After this, we'll take a look and see what it takes to get the next one. The Mastercraft version of the weapon. Enemy UAV above. That's why it's always good to have a launcher in objective mode. be in my spawn. I really need to get a good position where I can use my... Uh... Yeah, they're going to be recovered by the time I get up there. So that was a rough ending there. 38-37, barely positive at all. <clears throat> they 
basically just had a spawn trap there at the end. And that's one of the things with this mode. It, it's it's always a mixed bag because you can have really really good close matches that uh, that are fun to play in and are a challenge to try to win. And then you've got that where people just run over you and uh, it's really kind of rough to to play in. Up a tier and. Almost a third. <laughs> but this is what we really want to look at. So I'm going to back out of that match. And let's see. This is the reactive camo. Pretty cool. Looks like a Hot Wheels car. <laughs> and. Oh, well, that's not too bad. So 50 kills. To earn the Mastercraft. So. That should be pretty easy. And actually this. You know, across these couple of matches that I either attempted to get in or got in and that kind of thing. I uh, wound up getting 38 out of my 50 no attachments, got 6 revenge medals, and 2 double kills. So, I'll probably end the video right here, just so it's not too long, too painful to watch. Um... But yeah, should do a video pretty soon on earning the Soldier of Fortune Mastercraft weapon and finishing out some of these camo challenges. Anyways, this is Stonewall signing off, and I'll see you in another video.